introduce myself. My name is DC Watkins and I work specifically with the um, photo fit artist impression department of this particular police station. Um, I do specialise in um, sketch work based on um, likeness, so I'm going to ask you quite a few different questions regarding what you witnessed yesterday, and based on that I'm going to try my best to sketch a realistic likeness as to the person that you saw committing the said crime yesterday, okay? So, uh, before we begin, I need to confirm that I have the correct witness. Um, we have four different witnesses who saw the perpetrator specifically. So, each of you will be creating um, a sketch fit and um, we will essentially use all four of those to gauge um, the closest likeness. Of course, y you won't um, you won't interpret their faces completely identically, especially as I'm sure you only saw that face for a minute maximum. Mm -hmm. So it's very likely um, that y you know you get details wrong or someone else may get details wrong. That's why it's more important to um, have you interviewed separately so that um, we can get the truest indication of what you think you saw rather than if we were to get you all in the same room to try and discuss what this person may have looked like. You can be influenced by um, the bias of those around you. Mm -hmm. Our brain likes to play quite a lot of tricks on us, um, so, you know, we're quite impressionable and somebody's, um, what somebody said can alter what you think that you saw. Okay, so, um, I just need to confirm that you've not spoken to anybody previously other than myself or any of the, um, constables. Okay, so can I just confirm your full name? And um, could I just get a contact number from you? It's just so we can confirm. It's just so we can confirm on our records that we have a good place of contact for you and your address, please. Mm -hmm. Again, this is if um, we do catch the perpetrator or we believe that we have caught them, um, it's very likely that we will do a lineup and we will re-invite um, certain witnesses in um, to try to identify that person within a lineup. Um, so we need contact details so that we can invite you back in. Same with um, if this does go to court, um, that we are able to contact you if we need you to bear witness on the stand. Okay. I understand that this can be quite a stressful and intimidating time. My apologies for that. It is not nice circumstances for us to meet, um, but I want to um, further encourage you to continue with your witness statement because um, it's vital work um, for us to um, helping people 
to get justice. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, could you just briefly go through with me um, what it is that you believe that you saw? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, just to reconfirm back to you, um, you believe that you saw a white male leaving your elderly relative's address um, with two large bin bags believed to be filled with cash and jewellery, is that right? Yes, and um, just to confirm the time that you believe you saw this? 2.45 p.m. and it was Tuesday, Tuesday the 3rd of September. Okay, and what was it that you were doing specifically then? Right, you were visiting, okay. Something that you usually do at this specific time. Yes, okay. Okay, and um, when you were visiting, um, was this something that you saw before you entered the property yourself? And then you did enter the property afterwards. What was it that you found in the property? I understand it can be a bit difficult to talk about. I'm not going to ask too many more details now, I know that you've already had an interview, I just want to um, get a confirmation of exactly what you saw. The more that we can provide statements, the better, because um, if you are providing the same statement over and over and over again, um, it gives validity to it. Okay? I'm so sorry for that. Okay, so when you walked in, you saw your elderly relative collapsed on the bottom of the stair. Yeah, you called the ambulance, I know. She was conscious and breathing. She is doing well, um, I believe, in hospital. Did you get to visit? You did. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, and, um, did you see the man flee? Did you see him um, leave? Okay. Right. I think that's, yeah, that's correct. So he, he was witnessed jumping a fence. The house is opposite, yeah. That's right. And then we have further witness accounts of what as well of him um, fleeing towards an unmarked. Um, car with a fake license plate on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have any more questions for you um, regarding the actual incident itself. Let's focus now on that man um, himself. I just want to jog your memory a little bit if I can. So you believe that he was a white male. How sure of you are that of this are you? Definitely. Okay. If you could um, identify an age bracket, where would you say that he would sit? Okay, so 18 to 25 bracket, okay, that's fine. Um, are there any immediate characteristics that stand out to you? So for example, if they had um, a really large scar or incredibly bright hair, something that is immediately unidentified. 
Right, okay, tattoo on eyebrow. Tattoo on eyebrow. Of course they were moving fast. Do you have any sort of concept of what that tattoo might have been? You could just see ink. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Um, okay. Um, did you get a identifier of maybe how tall this person might have been? Hmm, well, so anything from 5'10 to 6'1, okay, that's fine, and what about build, was he, um, slim build, medium, quite stocky, stocky build, stocky build, okay, um, would you say muscular build or more, um, a heavy set? Heavy set. Heavy set build. Okay, can you remember at all what this person was wearing? Okay, black joggers. Mm hmm. And a navy blue windbreaker. Um, were they wearing any sort of balaclava or head, um, headgear? None. Okay, so you were able to see their hair, right? Can you remember what their hair may look like? Okay. Hmm. Brown curly. I have heard that described, yes. They, they, they call it like a um, muffin, muffin top hair, okay. Okay, um, was it hair all over? Was it hair on the top with the sides shaved? Sides shaved, sides shaved. Um, any facial hair? Not that you noticed, no facial hair that we noticed. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ask a few more, um, descriptors now. These are gonna get more descriptive with the face. Of course, they're gonna be, um, relatively vague. I know that you didn't see his face for too long. Um, how would you describe, um, his face shape? Elongated. No, of course, keep going if you feel be like you're inspired to do so. Sickly. Chiseled face. Okay, well that's an interesting... So you think he was quite stocky in build but had quite a long chiseled face. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, how about their eyes? Did you see colour? No, I didn't think so. Um, any specific identifiers with the eyes? Okay. Very large eyes. Would you say they were deep set or, um, you know, sunken in maybe? Hmm. Right, okay. You remember bushy eyebrows. Okay, anything about the nose at all? Hmm. Very big nose. Okay. Um, what kind of... I know it's difficult. What kind of shape? Would you say it was more button-like? Or would you say... Um, very sort of striking, large abridged. Large abridged. Okay, how about lips? Thin, thin lips. Okay, we have something to work off of. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try to do a little bit of a photo fit sketch. And it's going to be a preliminary one. 
based on the information that you've given me and then um, once we're done with this I'll show you you'll see um, if there's any bits that are just completely wrong or the bits that you like and we can sort of edit it there, okay? So, um, if you just want to sit back a little bit and um, relax, you're more than welcome to do so, okay? I'm just going to be quite, um, quite focused here now, okay? Alright. Some bushy eyebrows, right? So was it on your left or your right? On your right. The house was on your left as you were looking down the alleyway, parked up, and he came running out so you were seeing the right side of his face. Okay, so if it was the right side of his face it would be on this side here. Um, what kind of tattoo was it? Was it all the way around the brow? Was it sort of um, around his uh, temple here? under the eye, directly above the brow. Was it quite large, you would say? Okay, I'm just going to do a small amount of dark mark, just because we don't know exactly what the tattoo was, alright? Anything in, um, distinguishable about the ears at all? No? Okay. That's fine. And then we have a lot of 
really more pie, you said. Just move my thing a little bit. There we go. Only on the top, though, right? So you sort of shaved on the sides. detail here just to try to get the vision for you. taken anything at all. How about this? Is this any better? A closer chin. Okay, not such a large chin. Okay. It's fine. sort of jogging your memory a little bit. Do you believe he had a neck tattoo as well? Okay, what side specifically? Same side. Same side. What kind of tattoo? Was it large? Was it like a small, delicate one? Large. Okay. Again, I will just do a small scribble just to sort of um, give you an indicator of where that tattoo may be. Oh, 
his hair was quite dark, so yeah, it may help. You're right, it may help if I make his hair just a little bit darker. Let me just go in with shading it for you a little bit. cheeks and nose. a distinguishable um, face. I, d I do believe that that is a very good photo like this. I, um, I think we've done a good job here. Right, okay. So, um, I need to take a statement based on what we have discussed today to go with the photo fit and then I can submit that. Okay, let me just get your submission back. Okay, so I need to reread to you all of the information that you have given me today. So, you have provided your full name, your mobile number, and your address. Can you just confirm to me the number again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and postcode. Okay, I'm just signing it still have to confirm that we have confirmed it. Okay, so I'm going to read out to you. So, you saw a white male leaving elderly relative's address, that was your grandmother, uh, with two large bin bags believed to be cash and jewellery. Um, and you believe this because, yes, afterwards um, the house was mm -hmm, seen to be torn up and there was cash and jewellery missing. Good. Okay, this was around 2.45pm on Tuesday the 3rd of September. You usually visit at this specific time every week. Yes, um, your elderly relative was found collapsed on the stairs, at the bottom of the stairs, by yourself. Um, you were urged to call 999 and she is now in hospital recovering. You have seen her yourself. Okay, um, you believe that the white man um, jumped a fence across the street from yours. You're not specifically sure which address it was, but it was across the road. Okay, I can sign that. And then in terms of identification, again you believe it was a white male between the ages of 18 to 25 with a tattoo on eyebrows and also tattoo on neck. Let me add that info here two on neck. These were on the right side. Right side. Okay. Uh, you also believe that he wears an earring on the right side. Right side. Stood. Earring. Okay. You believe him to be around 5'10 to 6'1. Um, stocky build and heavy set. Mm -hmm. Unusually slim face for frame. 
He believed he was wearing black joggers with a blue, navy blue windbreaker. Uh, he had brown curly hair, almost like a muffin top with the sides shaved. He had no facial hair. He had an elongated, chiseled face with large, sunken eyes. Sunken eyes with bushy brows. He had a large nose with a large bridge and he had thin lips. Also, dimple on chin. Are we missing anything at all? No? Okay, well in that case, um, we are done for today. If you could just sign this statement for me again. Thank you. And then just sign the photo like this for me here as well. Great. Okay. We're all done here. I'm going to now submit this and we will be in contact with you again, probably. Um, tomorrow morning, okay? Alright, um, we will keep updated with your relative um, in hospital and just to check up with how she is. We do have um, police escorts on her ward um, just because we are unsure of motive at the moment and we just want to make sure that her safety is a priority, okay? Um, so, um, rest assured, we will be keeping an eye out. Um, we have your best interest. Alright, okay, have a great rest of your day. I hope she gets better soon. Bye-bye.